Okay, how to make a late video today. Now, my videos are gonna be getting a little bit late. Apologies, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, the reason is because we have winter time now. So by half four, it's almost five o'clock now. By half four, five o'clock, it's already dark. And I'm not able to make videos in the dark. Whether when I'm driving, to do my deliveries, or otherwise because I have a full-time job like you all know so I work from morning until half five and by then it's dark to make a video so um, I'm just throwing this out there today right now the stock market is continuing its downward move, uh, movement the bear market we're in the bear market like I said it's I believe it's a recession they can call it whatever they want and um, my Google my Google position it's still it's still dropping but that's fine I knew this was gonna happen uh, I'm still selling calls on it now the last time I made a video I said I had one I was long on Google long on one contract of SPXU and short put selling on another contract on X SPXU it so happened last weekend the SPXU that I was selling puts on was put to me so now I have two long positions on SPXU and one long position on Google and I'm just selling covered calls on all three like I said before the intention is for the SPXU to serve as a buffer for the downward direction of the of Google while SPXU is in an upward trajectory so kind of neutralize the uh, my portfolio overall now not exactly it's still gonna drop a little bit because Google tends to move faster than both SPXUs combined but it's a whole lot of buffer so whereas the S&P is losing you know something in the range of 27 percent or something like that I'm maybe down five percent five percent or so because SPXU again is buffering and the calls I'm selling is way it's helping a lot so the idea right now is to continue to gather so I'm not buying anything anymore the idea right now is to continue to save up on cash and oh there's a factory going there's a factory here the machine the sound is gonna be disturbing let's just turn around <laughs> and go another route so um, I'm just gathering cash at the moment and that I think that's what I'm gonna do for the whole of, ne of next year as well I'm just going to be working and saving up and saving up the whole of 2003 and then I see oh, my, my kids already liquidated all their own positions in in June portfolio right now is sitting in all cash just waiting as it drops and I'm adding to it so in this country in Republic of Ireland we have a, a social welfare system where you have child's benefit we call it child's benefits or child's allowance and I have two kids and, I, and we get the child's allowance. So what I'm doing is I'm investing half of it and saving half of it. Now, I know saving is against what I always preach. I'm looking for something else to do with the money rather than it just sitting in cash in savings. Um, I'm thinking of buying maybe precious metals or investing it in precious metal stocks, maybe silver or gold or buying the hard silver or gold itself the coin metal itself for them just to, as, a, as a store of value and yeah I, I was gonna say I bought uh, what's it called I bought Nevada gold back I bought five Nevada gold backs recently and those things I must say look pretty pretty cool I'm almost becoming a collector now I'm thinking of buying more and just collecting them uh, I, the next video I do I'm gonna show the ones I have the Nevada gold, gold gold backs that I have and today is Sunday the 6th of November next week Saturday I have a, a kind of meet and greet with fellow like-minded investors we call ourselves the cash flow club of Ireland we're meeting next week Saturday to play the game cash flow 101 maybe there will be cash flow 202 the funny thing is I bought that game about seven or eight years ago and up till date I've never had to play it. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't played it even once. Now, not because I don't want to play it, but there's nobody to play it with. It's kind of hard to find like-minded people around you for things like that. So it's just been there and I might take it along with me. Obviously he said he has enough 
board games to go around but I might just take that up with me in case uh, we're short but I'm looking forward to it really and uh, I might be talking to them about my uh, coaching or training program as far as cash flow in the stock market is concerned because I don't think it's a bad idea most people they know to invest they want to invest but they don't know what to invest in and for some that know what to invest in they don't know how to invest in what they want to invest in so I think I might be filling a gap there here in Ireland I've seen a few people do uh, podcasts uh, YouTube channels and whatnot but nobody has ever really said anything about cash flow in the stock market as far as uh, selling options or trading options is concerned so it, it kind of make, makes me think I'm the only one in that sphere in this country if it is I might have to fill that void and try to help as many people as I can of course I'll be getting paid for it Not, nothing is for free I didn't learn it for free the, the first seminar I did how to make money on options I didn't even know it was options at the time on stock mains in the stock market was in 2015 I believe and for one weekend that was the whole Saturday and the whole of Sunday I paid 3,400 euros I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous video but I never told my wife about it until two years ago because <laughs> I knew if I did she'd kick me to the curb like ah, 3,000 you crazy all my friends that knew they were like you lost your damn mind 3,400 I'm like it's not the cost of the seminar that was the problem it's what it will cost me if I didn't do it I'm glad I did now in hindsight I shouldn't have paid that much but hey I think it was good that I paid that much because it made me come up with the belief that I, ha I now have a skin in the game and there is no going back and this is one of the things I brought away from paying for workshops or seminars people might say it's too expensive in reality it might be too expensive but at the same time once you have a skin in the game to some extent it makes you want to double up like I haven't come this far just to come this far if you, if you get me if you see where if you if you can relate to what I'm talking about so this video is about eight minutes long already I'd like to wrap up here and just say those are that's the position of my portfolio right now and it's just about stacking up on cash and watching where the market goes from here and hopefully by the end of next year I'll still keep making videos and by the end of next year we're in a position where we're about to storm the storm uh, the stock market with rage and go with all the discounts and buy everything now I was gonna this is not a financial advice channel okay I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how to teach you how to pick stocks but I noticed something um, maybe I'll put a picture in this video if I can now I don't have an editor this is just I just do this live and post it I don't have an editor and maybe I just try to put a video or a picture of two stocks that I found now the SPY people to afford the SPY as far as selling option contracts whoo it's getting getting windy and cold as far as option contracts is concerned the SPY is about 375 right now selling one option contract you will need to have about 37,500 euros uh, dollars to be able to do that but then I came across another ETF they call, they call it the uh, S&P 500 growth ETF it's called the word escapes me if you are considering the broad market the S&P 500 if you can't afford it the IVW does about the same thing uh, I'll put the picture so that you see all right call it a night it's pretty late just came back from Limerick myself I live in County Kildare here just came back from Limerick the my daughter had a Taekwondo national competition I'm not gonna tell you how it went okay I'm not gonna tell you how it went but <laughs> we just came back now and I decided to make this video before joining the family for the rest of the night all right see you